Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to another Fallout 4 mod throwback, or at least sort of. This is a throwback to a mod that came out previously, except it's not a super old one like normal, it's actually one that came out I think last month. It just kind of happened to miss it, but it's a really good mod with a lot of quality content, and it was recommended to me by one of you guys, so I figured I had to check this one out. Anyways, today we are checking out the Militarized Minutemen Uniform Patches and Insignias add-on by Zaktan1234. So this takes the regular Militarized Minutemen mod and adds a ton of new content to it, as if that original mod didn't have enough content already. So just in case you are not familiar with Militarized Minutemen, it adds in a bunch of really awesome Minutemen armors that are all super customizable with a few different camo types, different patches, different ways to load out your vest and backpack with different equipment, and a bunch of cool color options as well as hats and scarves, gloves, and a bunch of different other accessories that can go along with these outfits, which are really cool. And it also adds ranks to the Minutemen, which makes them a little bit harder to fight or a little bit better to have a supportive aid. So the add-on that we are covering today actually adds a ton of new stuff to those existing uniforms, as well as some new uniforms and even a weapon. So for starters, let's do some of the add-ons for the existing uniform, as well as the tactical rig. You can now have a magazine dump pouch, which you can attach to anything with the Minutemen rig on it, or you can add the water canteen, which is pretty cool. If you have the water canteen equipped, it actually increases your survivability which means your endurance you get endurance one with this equipped additionally if you have that magazine dump pouch equipped it actually increases your reload speed slightly so that's pretty cool and just so you can see it here is a look at the magazine dump pouch as well as the new minutemen canteen nice little bit of immersion for this uniform pretty cool addition another piece of equipment that was added is the new minutemen battle belt the Battle Belt is essentially a lightweight version of the Tactical Rig, except this one always comes with the Canteen and Mag Pouch equipped, so you will always get that Endurance and Reload bonus, but you cannot modify it at the workbench. Now, another big addition is a ton of new camouflages. So here we have Army Green, which is standard in the regular version, as well as Black and Brown, but now we have Commonwealth, which looks like a really cool cross between ERDL and Multicam. Then we have Commonwealth Dark Gray, Commonwealth with green top, Commonwealth with tan top. So it's going to be the same camouflage for pants, but these are just going to change the top. We have dark gray, desert, desert with a dark gray top, desert with a tan top, desert tiger stripe pattern, forest camouflage, frog skin pattern, and it just keeps going. We have a ton of really cool new camouflages, so you can really change up how you want to look. You could even <laughs> change the camouflage of your unit depending on which settlement they're based at, which is a pretty cool thing that you could do, or just pick your favorite out of all of these to wear for yourself. Either way, ton of cool new camouflages. You can see we're still scrolling through them, even with different variations for each. Like I said, you have different colored tops with different colored pants, so you can really customize this to your exact liking. Another new thing is the Minutemen Crest Beret, which can now be found on Minutemen around the Commonwealth, which also has some cool new customization options. When we take this thing to an armor workbench, we can actually add in some ballistic weave if you really needed to. You can add in a beret headset. We'll go ahead and throw that on. We can change the color of it with a bunch of different options. We'll go ahead and throw on the... We'll do the green. And then you can change the color of the crest, which will signify different ranks. So let's just throw on gold just for looks and see what this thing looks like now with the new headphones. And that's pretty cool looking. These are also added to the level list, so you will find them out in the world on your Minutemen. We also now have the Minutemen Beanie, which has a variety of colors as well as a few different visual options. With that Minutemen Beanie, you can choose to add a ballistic weave to it. You can choose to have the color of your headset be different if you have a headset equipped. You can choose the color of the beanie itself from black, blue, brown, as well as a bunch of other options. And then you can choose to have the beanie standard, tucked, a modern headset, or a retro headset. And having a headset equipped will give you a perception and intelligence bonus. We also have the new garrison attire, which will consist of a new Minutemen t-shirt, as well as the combat pants. And this also has some cool camo customization options. 
Additionally, this new outfit does work as an Under Armour, so you can throw that Minutemen Tactical Rig right on top of it, which is really nice. Also, this mod has full integration of the CVC Retro Helmet that came out a while ago. We actually did review that in one of our mods weekly, and that is fully added with this mod. So now you can find these on your Minutemen. So it's pretty cool to have a leveled list integrated version of this helmet. We also now have a new Minutemen headset as well as the Minutemen Oakley's glasses. So we have these new little Oakley's protective glasses, which actually do have some customization options. At the workbench, you can modify those Oakley M-Frame sunglasses to have a different colored lens with different tints, so that's pretty cool. You can have some software upgrades, which will give you a VATS matrix overlay, which will increase your VATS hit chance. You can get recon sensors or even a targeting HUD, which will give you a highlight to living targets. You can change the color of the frame, and you can choose if it is worn over your eyes or on your forehead. There are also now a couple of versions of the Minutemen flannel shirt, which will add a flannel shirt with a bunch of customization options for the colors. And there are two different versions of it. One, which is the one you see in front of you with the battle belt and another one that has the Minutemen tactical rig on it, both of which look super cool for a PMC style character. When you modify the Minutemen flannel shirt, you actually have a few options. You have the option to add a ballistic weave, of course, and then two color options, one of which will change the pants and how they appear on you. And those will be all of the camouflages that we saw earlier. And the other will change the color of the flannel itself. So you have blue, green, gray, red, or tan. There is also a version of the Minutemen flannel with jeans instead of the combat pants, but you cannot choose the color of the jeans. They are always blue. And then finally, another one of the big selling points of this mod is the details in the patches. So now we can add on our rank badges, and if we scroll down a little bit, we will find the actual ranks, which are real military ranks. We have Chief Specialist, First Sergeant, Master Specialist, keep going, we have Corporal, Master Sergeant, Private, and they all have low-vis versions. So a regular one will be nice and bright. So if we equip Private here, it should be on our left shoulder. And there it is. It is the little yellow chevron there, which is nice and bright. But if we were to equip the low visibility, Let's get right back to that one, find private and click low viz. Instead of bright yellow, it should be a nice dark black. So they have that for every single rank you could possibly imagine in your Minutemen military. There are also a few different roll patches. So here we have our medic patch, which is going to be a red cross. And again, this is going to have a low visibility option. So this one actually adds to both sides. You'll see there's that nice red cross there. Or we can equip, again, a low visibility option, and that will be dark brown and green. Still gives you the same symbol, just something a little bit more camouflaged. Along with that, there's a few other roles in there, like the military police armband, as well as some vocation patches. So here we have the 1st Division at Commonwealth Minuteman. Then we have the Air Assault Troops the Army Development Force, the Artillery, the Aviator, which is going to be your pilots, Cavalry Scouts, the Combat Engineers, Commandos, Infantry, Logistics, all kinds of different jobs for your Minutemen, all of which also have their own low-vis options. So that's pretty cool to have these little vocational patches. Additionally, there are some new rank locations. So we can put our rank not only on our shoulders like we saw, but also on the vest and also on the collar. So if we were to grab the collar of the uniform, we can throw on a Brigadier General. And if we had a third person here, right there on our collar, it may be a little hard to see it, but we have a nice little star on our collar. And that applies to every other military rank as well. And then as promised, there is also a new weapon, and that is going to be the Minuteman Cavalry Sword. This thing functions like any other melee weapon in Fallout 4. It is a nice new sword. But whenever you unequip it, it looks really nice there on your armor. And if you were to be playing the Minutemen General, this is definitely something you'd want to show off your rank. And this thing also has a couple of mods. You have your Standard Blade or your Sharpened Blade, which will increase your damage. And then you have the regular Trooper Hilt or the Officer Hilt, which will have an engraved blade. Nice and gold there with the engraved Latin phrase there. So yeah, this adds a ton of new stuff, as you saw. 
This is a really cool addition to the Militarized Minutemen, which is already one of my favorite armor mods, and this just makes it even better. Lots more content to have. If you're trying to make your own military in the Commonwealth, this one pretty much can't be missed. You can really have a lot of variation there, even down to the ranks and the styles of your Minutemen. Very cool one and an awesome addition. And shout out to every single mod author who has something that was used in this mod, because I'm pretty sure it was a culmination of a lot of different ones. So if you enjoy this mod and you want to try it yourself, it will be linked in the description down below. And as always, go out there and support the mod authors. It's because of them that we get to enjoy Fallout 4 so late in its life cycle. And every time we launch it in a modded state, we should really be thankful for those mod authors out there creating such awesome quality content. So support them in any way you can. Donate, endorse, do everything that you have the power to do. And if you enjoy this video, drop a like, subscribe, all that stuff that gets us into the algorithm and gets us more Fallout 4 mod recommendations to the people that are looking for them. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!